Oh yeah, we have got a good one today. As you can see behind me, we got the Omboy OC Rage Squonk by Desire. And we also got the Grim Green Rebel. We're just going to go down low. We're going to check everything out they got inside of them. We're going to throw the Squonk pin in. We're going to throw a build in. We're going to come up top. We're going to have a vape and we'll talk about it a little bit. Let's go straight to the up and close. Let's check this bad boy out. Dive into checking out what comes in the box. Now, one thing you're going to see in this box is this extra squonk bottle, but I purchased that separately. That does not come with it. I just threw it in the box because I needed someone to take it. So, this does not come with the kit. If you do want one, they do come separately. Now, the squonk bottle is very long and cylindrical, it screws off at the top. It's got a little got a little straw systems going in there okay and let's see if we can get any closer in there because if you when I look down in there with my eye I see a little hole of some sort and I just want to see if I can get a closer look there it is right there the only thing it really comes with is this USB cable it does come with an instruction manual, but I took it out and it does come with this little plastic protector for the 510. Now, I, I can already see why it's going to need this, so I probably will utilize that. Because I've already put the Wasp Nano on here, and you can already kind of see something going on right there. Okay, so use that little plastic thing. Alright, and we got the Homeboy OC logo on top. We got the V right here, and we got the V on the squonk bottle. A little handle here, so you pull it out, boom. So you can kind of get a good look right there. That's the little siphoning tube that's going to go up into the 510 pin. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. A little reflection there. So I have not figured out the menu system yet, but one, two, three. We got work mode setting, exit menu. Work mode setting, hands mode setting, exit menu. So go into work mode. We got power mode. We got nickel, uh, temperature control, titanium, stainless steel, TCR, bypass mode, power mode. And that's it. Hands free, hands mode. We got right mode, left mode. See, I'll just switch the screen. Right mode, left mode. So that's how you switch the screen right there. All right, so five to turn off, goodbye. Five to turn on, and three to enter the menu. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So we got some venting on the bottom. And this is also a magnetic door. So even in the in case of venting, they are pretty strong magnets, but it, it, it should blow off still. So, all right, that's the Homeboy OC Squawk. Now, let's get into the Recoil Rebel. Now, normally, this is the point where someone says, I'm going to link right up here in the corner. But I don't, I don't, I've never done this one, so I can't link it. Can't link it at all. All right, so the only thing about this is, holy shit balls. Proprietary as shit. Look at this. If you lose this top, if you lose this this mouthpiece you are fucked so pretty easy deck to build on you know we got flathead screws got the recoil rebel logo grim yak i got the rr and the looks like a serial number at some point and that little screw right there is for the negative deck okay and then this is your positive deck and you got it surrounded by a picky peak insulator all right, so here's the first barrel cap. It's got the four slots. Okay, let's put it in. Give it a little turn, one at a time. And the same with the other side, one at a time. Boom. All right, the only thing about this is this, this is very proprietary. This, this drip tip. All right, you do only get one drip tip. So that drip tip will have to be used for this as well. Now this is, I do believe, he calls this the snake bite. Snake bite top cap. 
All right, so this is pretty much it. This is a pretty simple one to deal with because there is no adjusting the airflow. It just is what it is. And that's it. And this little bugger right here is going to go in here just like that. And that's if you tilt it for whatever reason, that's to help prevent the liquid to come out. We got O-rings in the bag. We got a squonk pin right there. And that's going to take a very small Allen key. I can tell just from looking at it. It is very small. Let's see if I can get a better look at it here. There we go. See that? You can kind of see it. Very, very small. We got four grub screws and just a ton of O-rings. So let's go ahead, enter this, put the squonk pin in, and enjoy the music. Raise a cup up for all my day ones. Do me a do thing just for the haters. Let's only get in gray. Told my moms not to stress no more. Go hit the Bentley store and no credit card debts no more. I bought the crib and it's an escrow now, so you don't never have to worry about how you gon' pay rent no more. I put my team in position now they making a killing, stacking blue faces straight to the ceiling. Out in Vegas I'm with them ordering bottles of the Ace when they send them till it ain't enough space up on the table to fit them. Go ahead and raise a cup up for all my day ones. Do me a do things for the head. It's only getting greater Straight up from nothing we go up Higher than the highest skyscraper No little league we major The proof is in the paper We put the good in the good in the good life the good We put life. the good in the good in the good I life the good We put life. the bad in the past, now we alright We alright hey, hey, Yeah hey, hey, hey. Uh, Pour some Clico in a glass, have a toast to success no looking back from here, no more being broke and distressed I put my heart into this game like I open my chest We only pray for more imps while you hope for the best We make these plays, man, I'm finessing these checks Time's up for everybody, I'm collecting old debts And I swear to champagne Alright YouTube, here we are back up top with the Onboy OC Squonk Mod and the Rebel RDA Got her all squonked up Now we do have her wide open Rocking her at 84, 84 watts with a 0.1 build. We got two stainless steel fuse clapton's with a 26 gauge and a 32 gauge wrap. That's wide open. We're gonna shut her down one. All right, shut her down two. Get a little squonk going on in there. No, that's my kind of vape right there. Just two of them closed off. Now we'll, we'll, we'll try the other tap, top cack real quick here. Now this thing is already hot. It is really hot. Like I don't even want to touch it. It's so hot. So, Alright, let's get out the other top cap. <clears throat> little snake bites. All right, switch drip tips. Got her squonked up plenty. Let's go ahead and have a rip. You know, the flavor on this is really good. You know, you know, am I going to use this RDA every day? Probably not. You know, but I'm going to test it out for a couple of weeks. You know, I'll, I'll use it as the combo pack that it came in. You know, I went ahead and bought it. This is what I got right here. This is the, the bundle kit with the RDA and the and the, and the the mod and the Squawk mod. It comes for $120. You know, otherwise, if you do get the mod, it is $99.99 just on its own. So, you know, it is, as it's showing, it is back up on pre-order. 
So if you do want one, you know, you do have to pre-order it. And I and I do believe it does go the same for for the mod by itself as well. So, you know, this right here, I mean, I couldn't pass up the deal. Am I going to use the RDA? Probably not. You know, probably probably not every day. You know, once in a while, yeah, you know. You know, cuz I'm not really a dual cola guy. But, you know, it's it's still a nice RDA. It's it's really nice RDA. I mean, it looks great. The only thing about it is that drip tip. You lose that drip tip, you are... F yeah, it is just, it's over with. I mean, unless you can buy one off their website, which I haven't really checked, but I'm sure you can. So, you know, now the max wattage of this thing is, you know, 155 watts. You know, it does move in one watt increments. But it is made out of zinc alloy. So, you know, it's very it's very sturdy it's very heavy you know feels good and better in you know in the right hand but in the left hand you know it feels pretty good too because it you know as long as you hold it you know with with your fire finger here if you try to hold it with your thumb it, it's not so bad with the thumb trigger but you know this side of it's not as comfortable and then this was this is the way that you're going to squonk it anyway if you hold it this way this is how you're going to squonk it same with this. This is how you're going to squonk it. So when you hold it this way, you kind of got to, you know, readjust completely to squonk. You know, you're not going to have that finger on the fire button as you would when it is in your hand. This way. Okay? You know, it is much smaller. Much, much smaller. Okay, now from the top, even, it's, I'd say a little bit thinner, but mostly because it's got this curvature right here. You know, which really helps with the size. You know, but otherwise, they're 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 decently comparable in width. But the G box is bigger overall in every way, shape, and form. So it is really heavy, especially with batteries. Without batteries, it's still pretty heavy. I'm not getting any rattling going on. You know, door is really sturdy. The magnets are big and strong. You know, so that's a pro right there. You know, the only con that I can come up with is I can only get it in black you know especially if you are looking for that dual regulated and squonk you know regulated feature on a squonk mod you know this one's definitely the smallest out there you know as far as that I as far as I know you know the other ones that I have seen you know are pretty much the same size as the G-Box or bigger so you know the the pulling out now I haven't pulled it out since it's got juice in it so let's go ahead and try that out real quick And a little bit's coming out the top right now, but, you know, it's pulling up because there is a lot of juice in there. And this is a silicon thing, a silicon bottle, so, you know, it is going to be very, very easy to, to squeeze and, and to have some come out on you. Now, putting it back in there, am I going to squeeze some and make a mess? Let's hope not. I'm not really seeing any mess. All right, we're good. All right, so I think that's it. Um, you know, I am losing a little bit of light. My battery is dying, so I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. You know, thank you for watching. You know, I do appreciate it. And catch you on the next one.